how do you find stocks like this just before they do this? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use the free Thinkorswim stock scanner to find stocks that have the potential to create this exact same profitable pattern. The best part is that this technique will only take you a few minutes to set up, is absolutely 100% free to do, and is very easy to do. But make sure you watch until the very end of this video because I have an important tip for you that can significantly improve your trading. I want you to let me know in the comments the best way that you've found to scan for stocks. If you're interested in this type of content, drop a like for this video to let me know. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell notification so that you don't miss a single video. Now in my experience, in order to find stocks like this, just before they do this, you have to work backwards. Let me show you exactly how this works and you'll see that it is actually quite simple. First, if you do not have Thinkorswim, check out the link in the description below to download, install, and make your own account for free. Once you have access to this amazing and free program, we can begin to build our stock scanner. This is the daily chart of KHC or Kraft Heinz Corporation. I was curious and asked myself the question, how could I scan for similar stocks at this point in time just before the downtrend so that I could identify stocks that were a sell, a potential sell opportunity? In order to answer this question, I applied a few different technical indicators. Now on the chart, you can see three different indicators that I used to identify this as a sell point and have built into a scan that I will show you exactly how to do as well. The first thing to recognize is that this is a crossover point for the 25 simple moving average and the 10 simple moving average. So we can go into the scanner in Thinkorswim and add that as a condition to scan for. To do this, go to the scan option, click on add filter for study. And now we need to edit this to be a 10 crossing below the 25 simple moving averages. Go ahead and click on the pencil icon. This will pop up a window. We want to delete the ADX crossover that is a default. And we want to add these conditions that we're talking about. So under select a condition, select study, type in the word simple. The second one down is the simple moving average. Go ahead, double click that. On the length, we want the 10 simple moving average, and we want it to cross below. Now we can select the second condition. In this case, we are using the study. Again, it's going to be the simple moving average. So go ahead and type in simple, double click on simple moving average, but we want the length to be 25, not 256, 25. What this is gonna tell Thinkorswim is to search for stocks where the 10 simple moving average is crossing below the 25 simple moving average. We're going ahead and click save and click okay. And now we've built that part of the scan. So let's head back to the chart. The other thing I want you to recognize on this chart at this point in time is that the MACD histogram is already in the red. That means that there is already selling momentum within this stock. Now, if you look over here at the actual numbers of the MACD, we can see that at this point on the chart, the number is negative 0.21, and the next bar over is negative 0.23. So let's build that into our scan as well. Go ahead over to the scan, select add filter, and again for study. We're gonna click on the pencil icon again to pop up our customization window. We're gonna delete the default and add condition. This time we're gonna add study and select MACD and you wanna select the MACD histogram. You don't have to edit any of these other things but what we want is that the value to be less than a certain amount. So we're gonna say is less than, we're gonna select a condition value because again, we want that value, as I pointed out, to be less than negative 0.2 within one bar or within one day if we're on the day chart. 
go ahead and click save and click OK. So now this is built into our scan that we get not only this crossover of the 10 moving average down below the 25 moving average, but we also have a negative histogram as well, suggesting further that there is negative selling momentum. The next aspect of the scan that I want to integrate is actually something that's often overlooked. I want you to take a look here between this bar here and this bar here. What is one other thing that you notice? What I'm looking at is right down here, the volume. The volume actually increases by 58% from 3.1 million up to 5 million. So I want to build that into the scan. So let's go over to scan, select add filter, and this is a study filter. Now this time we don't have to go into the customization, it's actually over here in the drop down menu. Go ahead and go down to volume and select volume underscore change. Now we want that volume to be at least 55% greater than the last one bar. Now we have a scan that matches what we see in the charts. We have a crossover of the simple moving averages. We have a negative MACD suggesting a selling trend. And we have a change in volume suggesting more people are interested in this stock. The final addition to this scan that I would recommend is actually a minimal cap on the volume. If you notice here, the volume is in the millions range. If we go over to the scan, we can actually add that as a filter. If you go add filter for stock, and in this dropdown, go down to volume, you can set a minimum on how much volume is being traded. And I recommend at least 100,000. Once that is in, we have finalized our scan. When we go ahead and hit scan, it actually comes up with a result, this stock AGFY. If we take a look at the chart, we can see that it is set up similarly to where KHC was before that downtrend. Remember that although this scan is built to look for high probability trades, it is impossible to guarantee results regardless of the strategy. All trading involves risk and intense discipline, and no strategy will ever be 100% accurate, including the techniques described in this video and on this channel. That being said, I'm pretty happy to announce that just a few days after recording that initial content at this point here, as found by that scanner, this stock is now over 10% lower than it's open that very next day. If that doesn't deserve a like and a subscribe, then I don't know what does. Now, earlier in this video, I mentioned that I have one final tip that can significantly improve your trading. We know that only 10 to 30% of trainers maintain profitability. One of the ways those few traders are able to stay profitable is through an understanding of risk. All trading involves risk, but what most people don't know is that an acceptance of that risk and a realization that losses while trading are inevitable is essential to profitable trading. The key components of understanding risk are testing and sticking to a trading plan and defining specifically how much of your account you're going to risk per trade. Some take it a step further and also define how much they stand to gain. By understanding and controlling your risk in a disciplined manner, you set yourself up for positive long-term trading potential. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something of value. Don't forget to comment below the best way that you found to scan for stocks. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and peace.